and Bethany, and that's Drew. Today, we are on our way to explore what's left of a once popular tourist attraction. To get there, we are taking a hike full of history and surprises, but it's not for the faint of heart. It's the tragic tale of Echo Mountain, coming up on Oddity Odysseys. Today, right? Yeah, brought the cooler. I stayed up all night making this, these sandwiches. Here, hold this for a second. Okay, what? What? Why? What? Okay, it's dripping. What is oh, that? Oh, sorry. It's ice. What happened to just cubes? You have trays in your freezer. I don't understand. Larger ice cubes stay frozen longer. Grape? No. From the 210 in Pasadena, exit at Lake Street and go north. Take that all the way to the end, and the gate to Cobb Estate will be on the right. This is where the trail begins. This historic tale begins almost immediately with an entrance through Cobb Estate. And many hikers believe this trail to be haunted. That's true, but we're not gonna be sticking around today to find out. The Echo Mountain Trail is about a six mile round trip and Cobb Estate deserves more time than we can give it today. Future episode, perhaps. Perhaps. Well, at least we know we're on the right path. So I've heard that Echo Mountain and Mount Low Railway are another classic Los Angeles rise and fall story. That's true, it was a brilliant idea and the place just didn't last near as long as it deserved. And it must have been the genius of Thaddeus S.C. Lowe that started it all. Good thing it's a long enough hike for a history lesson. I just don't want you to fall. I hope it's not our rise and fall story. <laughs> Might be. Lowe was a New Hampshire native who made a fortune from his inventions and patents on ice-making machines and hydrogen gas manufacturing. He retired to Pasadena in 1888. There, he had a vision to make the beautiful mountains accessible to average citizens. Lowell joined forces with David McPherson, an engineer from Cornell University. In 1892, the pair began construction on the world's first electric-powered inclined railway to the summit of Echo Mountain. This three-railed funicular, featuring a four-railed passing track at the midpoint, was the first of its kind and inspired the design of Angel's Flight, which is still in operation in downtown Los Angeles. The railway opened on July 4, 1893, and led to the top where a Victorian hotel, Echo Chalet, astronomical observatory, car barns, and a casino were built. Hey, look, the electrical towers. That means we're already halfway. Wait, did you say we're only halfway? Yeah, let's go. So the railway existed from 1893 until its official abandonment in 1938. And what it led to was said to be one of the biggest tourist attractions of its time. Yeah, Lowe built quite the place. On top of the mountain, he built the Echo Mountain House, a 70 room Victorian hotel. And we're about to come across all that's left. Can't wait. This is the front of the house, which I think was taken from right over here. Yeah, yeah, see how the, the stairs and everything, and you can see the tracks in the front. There it is. Going down the hill, this is where this picture was taken. I heard it didn't have the best of luck. Oh yeah, it didn't have very good luck at all. In 1900, a kitchen fire burned the whole thing down. But it was never really that profitable anyways, even though it was so popular with guests. So we're coming up the main steps here, which means the Echo House stood right here. And if we look at the blueprint here, we come into the, the main lobby. It's a pretty big lobby. Now it's just picnic tables. And then over here, there were rooms, a hallway and, uh, and rooms on both sides that went that way. Very spacious. Yeah. And same thing on the other side, I believe. Yeah, you can see it. And this is all that's left. Yeah, not a whole lot. It's just a little bit of foundation. Definitely some terrible luck. I can only imagine how nice this must have been. I mean, this is the hallway, and then you'd have rooms on each side. Reservoir over there. 
What do you think? Pretty close? Mm-hmm. That would be it. We don't have 20 other people sitting here with us, so. We need 20 other people. We also don't have nice clothing like these people. That clothing looks itchy. Yeah. I think it's safe to say this is the same thing. That must have been what they used to uh, pull the train cars up the hill. Yeah. It's so sad that with the financial ruin of everything, Thaddeus Lowe eventually lost his rights from the railway to the Pacific Electric System. Mm. And had ownership no longer. Mm. One of the last remnants. Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, there you are. I found a sofa. <laughs> you sure did. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I was looking at these old photos and I'm pretty sure that this place is in this photo. Oh, yeah? Can you see that? Oh. If you walk around here. So it looks like those rocks mm -hmm. would be these rocks. The fountain's gone. Yeah. Which means that that little headstone would be the back of my sofa. Oh wow, it is in that photo. That's crazy. And then the chalet would have been right behind it. Poor thing ran into another bad piece of luck and burned down in 1905. Just like everything else on the top of this mountain. Mm -hmm. One by one, the structures of Echo Mountain fell victim to disaster after disaster. The Rubio Pavilion at the bottom of the Incline Railway washed away in a flash flood in 1909. Gale force winds laid claim to the observatory in 1928. And by 1938, whatever still remained washed away in a torrential storm leaving very little remaining from this once magnificent mountain getaway. Thaddeus Lowe passed away at the age of 80 and was laid to rest at the Mountain View Cemetery in Altadena. The railway and structures of Echo Mountain have been demolished, but the vision of citizens enjoying the mountain views has survived. To check out more of our adventures, including the Sutro Bath Ruins, which met the same kind of tragic fate as Echo Mountain, click on the link in the description below. Thank you for joining us, and if you like our content, be sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you can be notified when we release new episodes. And we will see you on the next new episode. Here we have the Echo Phone. Ah, indeed. Actually a replica of the original. Basically, one of these was installed so that patrons of the railway could yell at each other. Patron of the railway! Just like that. It works. High tech. Good old fashioned communication right there.